Hello guys and welcome again to IT Denny video channel. As I promised, today I will bring you great and useful tips and tricks for iOS 11 for iPhone. Since iOS 11 release, I've been heavily using and testing the system and I'm just excited how much Apple improved their software once again. Let's dive into it. First, the new control center. Here the already famous sliders with volume and brightness. Press and hold the slider and it will bring up a bigger layout. Also with bigger brightness slider you can locate a bit hidden night shift button like I did just now. Similarly with for example flashlight. You can just press the button to activate the flashlight. You see? But if you press and hold the button you get an option to set up proper strength of the light. This is so cool. Same happens if you press and hold other buttons like music where you can easily choose output device like AirPods instead of internal speakers. And wireless controller. By opening advanced menu you have right away all available wireless functions. Here are the airplane mode and airdrop. Next what I got for you is customization of control center. Follow my leads and here you can choose other services to have within quote unquote quick access menu. I'm often using alarm, disload the feature and screen recording. My own tailored control center is ready for action. Great feature is mentioned screen recording. Simply press the button, you can then choose to record sound as well. And from this point, whatever you do with your iPhone will be recorded. I will stop it now though. This can be useful when you want to record step-by-step -step guide for someone, for example. And you see, my screen recording has been saved at Photos app. This tip is my favorite, mostly due to its potential and future in which I believe. Augment reality. Starting with screen recording, and I will present this on IKEA Place app. There are many more AR apps, of course. But this one gives pretty nice idea about what's going on. First, the app asking me to scan the area which I want to augment. That is done, so let's add a chair. And let's see the magic. Yep. Here we go. No need for deep explanation, so listen up you guys. This has been around for some time, but what is amazing is that I have this device in my pocket, acting like a hub for all my work and even the pleasure. Yet capable of such a thing. This is extraordinary and it's only the beginning. Future, come and get me please. Look at this. Look at this. I love it, I love it. Next is redesigned App Store. Now you have new today category with theme groups for apps helping you to choose desired content. Followed by games and apps category. Good old update button is still here of course. And finally the search page. Here I have pre-search sticker pack from mom and purchasing it now. Download is complete as you can see with a message app. Staying with message slash iMessage app, we received some new stuff too. Check the screen effect for example. Quite visible, right? Yeah. And have a lovely day sticker from sticker pack from mom is a must. Another enhancement is that you can now drag and drop multiple apps at the same time between the screens and or folders, just like I did now. Dragging feature is added to the system in general. Here explain it on Notes app. First note named Note 1 is empty. Second one named IT Denny contains app link for sticker pack and screenshot from Safari. Now I can hold and copy this app link to Note 1, navigating with my second hand and dropping the link into it just like that. Quite full computer feature I would say. Awesome evolution happened with screenshots though. I just took one and I can edit it right away if I want. Now I'm cropping it. Magnifying, important part. Adding customized arrow. Here in red. And highlighting the text with a green color. Cannot be more obvious what I'm trying to point out, right? 
When I'm done, the screenshot is saved to the pictures. From here, I can easily share it with someone. In my case, using iMessage app with a sticker enhancement, of course. Hey, and is your hand too small for iPhone screen or keyboard? Simple help available now. Press and hold the globe key and choose one of the options to fit the keyboard to the side. Finally, it's nicely reachable for thumb typing. All right, this tip is aimed towards AirPods users. We have new stuff too. On the Bluetooth devices, you locate your AirPods and at the screen, you can set the name. Nothing new here, but now we have different double tap settings for each pod. As a music lover, my favorite layout is previous track option for left pod and next track option for right pod. Then just settings for automatic ear detection and microphone, usually best to keep it in auto mode. And just saying, if you don't have them, get them. Hashtag never going back. And finally the last 11th tip, the camera. Live photos are now available for front facing camera as well, but check this out. Here I have live photo taken earlier. Press and hold the picture to see whole live photo set. Now I go to edit mode and here I can manually choose what is the actual key photo of the set. From burning candle I change it to flameless one. Also I cut a bit of the set from start, so my live photo is shorter now. And the big finale, live photo effects. For this particular candle picture, the bounce, where the live picture is played to the end and back. By using imagination you can create quite wonderful pieces of art. And back in any mode, you can switch the live picture to a regular picture, which will be the keyframe. Furthermore, for camera, Apple created new high efficiency data format to help you to save some space on a device. Although keep in mind, this format is still quite incompatible. And of course, I can't let you go without the bonus tip. Don't die while driving and be sure to use driving mode whenever you do so. This way you can suppress notifications and incoming calls. Well, and that's it for iOS 11 on iPhone. And what shall I do next? Hmm. Well, of course, how about to continue with tips and tricks for iOS 11 for iPad? There are many more new and hidden features in the system. So stay tuned for next video. So fellas, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. Please uh, like or dislike it and make us happy. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, stickers from mom. It's still available on the App Store. Go ahead and support the mom. Half. Peace in your heart and <laughs> see you around.